Hi everyone. In this tutorial I will attempt to guide you with setting up your own crafting Azeroth server. Keep in mind this is the version of the map that has been updated to work with cubic chunks and far planes too. I'll provide some info and links for the map in the description below, so feel free to read it at any time. Alright, let's get started. Assuming you already have Minecraft Java Edition and Java 8 installed, let's go download Forge 1.12.2. If you already have it installed you can probably skip this step but now let's go and install it. Once that's done we can go and download the required files from the Crafting Azeroth CC's Discord server. Note, you'll need both the map and server files. I won't download them because I have them here already but you get the idea. Once they are downloaded, extract them wherever you want again but you'll need around 33 gigabytes of free storage. Once again, I won't extract them because I already did and it would take about 20 minutes on my PC. This process can be accelerated if you are using a solid state drive but your mileage may vary. Anyways, once that's done, put the folder containing the map inside the server files, then, open up the eula.txt file and change false to true. Please read the end user license agreement first of course. Now we have two options. The first option is to rename the folder crafting Azeroth cubic chunk stack, to world. The second option is to open the file server.properties, and at the line level name equals world. Change the word world, to crafting Azeroth, cubic chunk stacked. Now go in the mods folder contained in the server files and copy everything to your Minecraft mods folder, which should be this folder by default on Windows. I'll leave that in the description as well so you can copy it from there. Back to the server files, open run.bat. You might get a pop-up notification for your firewall, if you do, and you want to set up an online server, you can tick the boxes. You can change this later in your firewall settings so don't worry. Now all you have to do to play single player is launch Minecraft, click multiplayer. Then add server and at server address enter localhost or 127.0.0.1 which is your local IP address. If you want to set up an online server you'll have to have admin access to your modem in order to port forward your computer to the internet. I hope this helped, thanks for watching.